All right, EV car enthusiast, uh, let's get into it. Here we have an article just popped up today. A Tesla Cybertruck buyer can't fit it in his garage and can't return it without facing a $50,000 fine. Uh, that heading isn't actually, actually correct. So the short of this article is this guy, a um, fanboy EV boy, jumped on and bought the old pickup, had it delivered. Uh, first, uh, then uh, he was in a house with a garage. Then what it says is he ordered the truck online, right? Then his living situation changed. Oh, well, that's not Tesla's fault, dude. Uh, he and his wife separated and he moved out of the home with a garage. It didn't say that that's the garage. It didn't fit in that garage. So it's misleading headline for clickbait, right? Uh, and he realized it wouldn't fit comfortably into his parking spot, which makes no sense uh, at his apartment complex. So first of all, he made two poor life decisions. First, he got married. The fool. One idiot. And then he bought a Tesla truck, which probably made the divorce more imminent. Because she's like, why did you waste all that money on a piece of crap? So now he made two poor life decisions. Now he wants Tesla to pay for his life decisions by taking the truck back. I bought it. I can't now play with it. It's like, well, dude, come on. You bought the truck. You signed the dotted line. You signed the agreements. And uh, now you got to live with it. So you have to live in an apartment with the truck. I'm sure it's going to fit in the parking. So look at this. What a fool. If he would learn to park better, it would fit in the line. So I think the guy has basically trouble driving his little toy. So anyway, it's just buyer's remorse. He's trying to be the victim here and trying to get um, Tesla to buy it back. But he cannot sell it because you sign an agreement. You cannot sell the Tesla truck within a year of purchasing it because they don't want competitors to buy it and then rip it apart and reverse engineer it. That's all they're protecting from. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. You're going to hire Lauren Sue. Come on. It's going to cost you more legal fees than the uh, truck is actually worth. Uh, this guy here, he's trying to justify it. It's probably some lefty woke guy. Uh, Logan Carter. Uh, I don't know who he's with. Quartz. Okay. He's gone. There are a few things about this situation that boggle my mind. Uh, right on, separated from his wife. Yeah, good for him, right? Uh, he shouldn't have got married. You don't get married today in the West. It is a death sentence for men. And he's probably going to get uh, lose half of his retirement. He lost the house. And now he needs to dump the Cybertruck, hopefully get the money back to pay his wife all that money with her new boyfriend. So he's not going to be able to get rid of the truck. Otherwise, he's going to incur a $50,000 loss with legal fees. So he could be sued for 50000 bucks. And, bar, and be barred from ever purchasing another Tesla. That's fine. I own a Tesla. I'll never buy another one. Uh, they were fine. I had the Model S. Not getting back into that mess. I like gas engines. They're awesome. Uh, how can anyone justify this treatment? Oh, everyone's the victim. Oh, come on, dude. He knew what he was doing. He had to put down his credit card. He had to put the order in. He had to sign the agreements. He, uh, he had to get married. The fool. Uh, if he would have stayed married or not got married at all, had his own place with a garage and lived the single life, he wouldn't have this issue. He'd have all the toys and women and everything he wants. You know, I just love how these articles are written from the uh, woke victim mentality. It's like, dude, suck it up, cupcake. You bought the truck. You got married. You got divorced. Deal with it. Now, park your truck in the parking spot like a good boy and stand in line for your cookie. All right, that's all I got. I'm just so tired of this victim. Victim, I'm a victim. I bought the truck. I don't like it. Sure, the truck's probably not that great. It's overhyped. And a lot of people are trying to get rid of them. Um, yeah, go figure. All right, I'm out.